Hello, my name is Maria Polk, and I am an intern at Fisher Clark Dairy. So after a cow calves, she's taken to the parlor, and um, we are given back a bucket with colostrum in it. After we get the colostrum, we test it to see the value of the colostrum. We use a BRICS refractometer to measure the value. For um, heifers and limo crosses, we want the colostrum to be 22% of the BRICS reading. Um, anything below that, we will use for the bulls. Once we know the value of the colostrum, we make a label for the bucket so we know the value of the colostrum and um, how old it is. So we put colostrum, the date, and the value, which it was 22.9. So this one could be fed to a heifer, uh, but um, if there is a higher value um, in the fridge, then that's the one we'll use first. Once there is a newborn calf, we will get a gallon tuber and fill it up and put it into some hot water and wait until it gets to the temperature between 105 and 110. We want to feed the calves within the two, first two hours of life. Okay, so this is a newborn heifer. Um, and so I'm gonna be feeding, I'm gonna be tubing her colostrum. So her colostrum is ready. It's um, at 106 and so I'm going to open up her mouth and slide it down the left side of her throat and wait until she either moves or there, there we go. Or, if she has a good deep breath that I can really hear. Um, so, um, she's gonna start kind of chewing on it, and that also lets me know. That also lets me know that it's down the right uh, pipe. Eight to twelve hours after the calf has gotten her first um, gallon of colostrum, so this is only for the heifers. Um, they get a second feeding of colostrum. So we fill the bottle up, and once again, the same concept applies. Um, we try to feed, uh, according to the BRICS refractometer, at least 22% uh, percent and above, and the temperature has to be between, be between 105 and 110.